Hello, welcome to The Wedding Secret. This is my YouTube channel about weddings. I'm Simone and I will tell you everything you need to know about weddings. Today I would like to talk about my favorite word and this is the flow. Your wedding can be the most beautiful wedding in terms of decoration. You can have hundreds and thousands of orchids everywhere, but um, your guests will enjoy the wedding when there is a beautiful flow. What is a flow? <laughs> there can be like a spatial flow and also a temporary flow. And both flows have to be good and perfect. Um, about the uh, spatial flow, we have talked a little bit about locations or in the chapter locations already, because this is where you, um, let's say you have chosen your venue because you start your welcome drink, you have your ceremony, you have your aperitif, you have um, your dinner, then you have the party. So um, at this stage where we are now, uh, you have chosen the venue and so you have also chosen the where you do the different, let's say, part of the wedding in which location at the venue. Now um, oh, you have for sure also thought about the, the temporary flow or not. You as a wedding couple, as a newlywed couple, will be in a big, beautiful cloud. Um, everything will pass so quickly that you will lose completely the sense of time. So um, that means that the hour and a half for the aperitif will pass like this. But for your guests, everything what is longer as an hour and a half, two hours at the aperitif, it gets a little bit boring. The same for the dinner. Um, you will have speeches most probably, you will have the, the food, you will have, have guests that are coming to you, they will congratulate still. But for guests, they are sitting, listening to speeches and having dinner, everything what is more than three, maximum three and a half hours, it gets really long. And there it could be that the whole ambience goes down. Let's say the humor of the guests goes down. That means that think about the timings well. Um, I would recommend for the welcome drink always to have half an hour up to an hour. An hour is already a lot for the welcome drink because actually it should be more or less the margin where the guests are arriving and um, they, are, they are coming, they're getting something to drink until the bride is ready, until everybody is there. That's not happening a lot normally and everybody's nervous. Then the ceremony itself, it depends a lot on your um, how you want to have the ceremony. As I have said in chapters before, it can be about, let's say, half an hour to up to an hour. But um, in German you say, in der Kürze liegt die Würze. That means that um, better short and interesting than too long and boring. This actually applies to everything, also to the speeches. We're coming afterwards. Now we have a, a subject what I have sometimes, and this is especially when you have um, a church wedding. Sometimes my couples, they have like the welcome drink and then they have the ceremony and aperitif like in the morning or for lunchtime. And then they have a break because they want the guests to get dressed or to get changed. So um, I have to say that um, this only makes sense to have a break in between when the break is so long that the guests really can go back to their hotels, have a small rest, get changed without stress and then go back. Because if not, this is more annoying than it helps to your guests. Um, I'm not such a big fan about these breaks in between, but we have to analyze well the situation of the whole wedding. Because if everybody's in the same hotel and you are having a break because you wanna have taking more pictures, um, then it is okay. But if your guests are like spread out all over, let's say in Mallorca, we're an island and they have to go back to their hotel, change and then come back to the, to the wedding reception in, in the afternoon, sometimes it doesn't really make so much sense. We have to analyze well that there's enough time in between if you do a break that it really makes sense for the guests and if it's not making the day even longer. then. Um, if you have a break or not, this is something um, what depends on you, but I prefer normally like the ones what starts and then it goes from one to the other, from one event to the other. So after the ceremony we have the aperitif, 
The aperitif normally is the time where all the um, couple pictures are done. You have the congratulation. Think about that the more guests you have, the longer it takes. So you will not have a lot from this aperitif. Um, but also think that everything what is more than one and a half hours of aperitif might get a little bit boring for your guests. So from my experience, this is a good time frame to fit in the congratulations, the couple pictures, some group pictures, to also enjoy a glass of champagne. But um, as I said, for you, normally as a couple, this imperative time, it's like you won't enjoy a lot of this time because there are a few things you have to do. And then uh, for the dinner, um, my um, recommendation is <laughs> better short and interesting and not too long uh, and boring, especially in terms of speeches, but also in terms of courses. If you want to have seven courses on your wedding dinner, you can have it, it's your wedding. But it depends also, I know the Jewish weddings, for example, Russian weddings, they have a lot of dancing in between, the Persian weddings, that's like they are eating, but they are dancing at the same time, it's like a mix. But for example, the German weddings or the European weddings, you have the dinner, you have speeches, you're sitting, you're listening, you're eating. And then after three hours, you want to dance. You want to move your body a little bit. So think about it well, that the guests are not getting too tired and then there's no party mood coming up in the end. And then for the party, there is no time limit. I have um, a lot of party people under my clients. I think all my clients are super party people and um, sometimes my locations they say but how can you start at four o'clock in the afternoon and having the party until six o'clock in the morning? I say yeah because it's a well-organized wedding you have always two things to drink you have always something to eat you have um, some rest areas where you can sit down if you're tired. I think this is actually a little bit like let's say the yeah the, the sense no, of a wedding that um, everybody has a good time and doesn't want to go home. So yes, I personally think that um, we have talked a lot about a lot of very important things. There is much more to come and I'm very happy that you are watching this channel. I would love to subscribe to it and yeah, I see you soon.